What a slow focusing camera. Okay, it's like a thousand degrees in California, in Southern California. It's like two days after 4th of July and they predicted this heat wave. And I'm miserable, but I'm gonna turn off the fan so that you can actually hear me. Sorry about the constant focusing. This camera isn't the best at focusing. But today we're gonna talk about ways to attach your battery to your quad. I've had a couple of people ask me about this, so I've decided to make a video. And I'm not talking about strapping the battery. Everybody straps their batteries to their quads. That's standard. What I'm talking about is uh, the, the pad, what goes in between your battery and your quad to both isolate it, cushion it, and also prevent it from moving around. I shot this already, but I made a mistake and forgot one type. So we're gonna go over it now. Basically, there are five types of battery pads that people and normally use. And we're gonna go from the less sticky one to the most sticky one. Let's get this guy over here and talk about them. So first of all, we have just regular high density EVA foam. This is basically just EVA foam that's pretty dense. It's kind of slippery. It's easy, easy to find, but it is not the best because it barely offers any traction. This is what I used to use at the beginning when I first started because it's what I had around when I was flying uh, blackout quads. But I immediately discovered it wasn't sticky enough. My battery would shift around and just minor crashes. I didn't like it. Next up, we have neoprene foam. Now, neoprene foam comes in different densities, comes with different amount of rubber in it. Generally, the stuff you can get for pads, uh, for this kind of thing, is not like high-end neoprene, like you would find on a wetsuit for surfing, but it's definitely more sticky than an EVA pad. It's more cushioned and just offers a lot more traction. This is actually my preferred method, but I'll talk more about that later. Then you have rubber, which is this. Now, rubber can be just as sticky as the, e of the neoprene, depending on the grade of the neoprene. It can be interchangeable. But um, rubber, well, it's found in the aliens. Uh, originally, uh, the wrap also comes with it and whatnot. It's good because it's pretty sticky. Uh, it's not very cushioned. The downside is it tends to be kind of heavy. Originally, when the alien pad, when it came out, the pads were really thick. And unfortunately, they were really heavy. So they figure out how to make it just thinner and because it has so many cutouts it's actually pretty good. On the wrap I think it's a little bit heavier than I would like so I run neoprene on that one too. But it's a very good option to run rubber. Then you have gel. For example what is in the um, Uma Grip by Tommy from Rotor Riot. Actually I haven't opened this one yet. I've never actually used it. I think it's too expensive, so I just bought one to try it out. But yeah, let me see, yeah, that's what it is. It's basically kind of a, it's kind of like a silicone. I don't know what, what, smelly. But, but the point is, it's like gel. It's really sticky. It's almost like self-adhesive, but what it really is, is just super sticky. And you can wash it, so it doesn't really have an adhesive. Um, and well, we'll talk about more about this one in a bit. And finally, we have dual lock Velcro. Now you can use all kinds of different Velcros, but I, I'm pointing this one out because this is the best option for quads. This is what you use if you want the battery to stay put. This is what you use if you want to make sure that battery doesn't go anywhere. And it's what you would use, for example, for racing where you crash at the highest speeds and you don't want the battery to move because you want to keep going. If you hit a gate, you want to still keep, keep uh, be able to keep flying without the battery shifting. Anyway, this is the most secure method. Let's go backtrack a little bit and talk more about it. We know that the high density EVA is just not good enough. If you have nothing lying around, then this will um, solve the problem temporarily, but I don't recommend it. Now, my preferred method is neoprene. And the reason I like neoprene is because I find it inexpensive, easy to find, it works really well. It works for everything. Like I use it for freestyle, I use it for racing, even though I should be using dual lock for racing. 
And because I build a lot of quads and I have so many quads, I don't want to have to pay to put this on every quad. This is probably good enough for just two quads. It's awesome, Tommy, I'm sorry, yeah, I mean, it's great, but I just don't want to put this on all my quads because it's, like I said, it's expensive. I will use it though. I bought the other version also for the GoPro because this offers a lot of um, dampening. Now, what I originally used to do was I bought these little six inch pads from um, from Lumineer from Get FPV. And I bought a bunch of them, I really liked them. I started using them across different quads, but I thought they were expensive because it's a little strip. So I decided I wanted to find a source of this stuff since I use it so much. And I was able to find a full roll on Amazon. Same stuff. but in bulk, so I can, I can use as much as I want. This one's actually a little bit more sticky than this one, to be honest. So yeah, this is actually weather stripping for like doors and whatnot, but it is basically neoprene foam. It is low density, you know, squishy enough and pretty sticky, and it's my preferred choice. Now this stuff, I'll tell you right away, I checked different sizings. This roll was about $30. I'll put a link in the description. Yes, it'll be an affiliate link. Um, but this one is, if I recall correctly. Anyway, there's a link to the, in the description to this thing. And this will probably last you as long as you need it to. Okay, rubber, I don't go out of my way for. If the quad I bought or decided to build comes with a rubber pad and it's not too heavy, I'll use it. And finally, okay, so this stuff, there's two ways to get this. The one marketed for FPV is the, this one uh, by, by Tommy Umagat, Umagrip, but there's, this actually has been around for a lot longer. Uh, there's one by Kyosho, which I forgot what they call it, but it's, it's the same gel stuff. It comes in different colors and different densities, and it comes from the helicopter and RC car world. The helicopter guys use it to mount their gyros because they want dampening and it's sticky. And the car guys, I think they use it to mount battery batteries. So my buddy, Lucas Sanford from uh, Sky Ready RC, he came from cars and he flies FPV. And I think he's the, he's the only guy who has an FPV shop who sells the Kyosha stuff. So you can check out his site and buy it from him if you want. And also you can get this stuff. Really good, kind of expensive. But if you don't have a lot of quads and let's say you have two or three quads and you want to make sure that battery stays, this is a very good option. And finally, we're going to go again over the 3M dual lock. This comes in this clear stuff and it comes in black. The clear stuff is so thick that it's not really clear, but so I recommend you get black if I'm honest. You can buy a roll. This one's been used mostly. I've had this for years because I used to use it to mount pedal boards, uh, guitar, uh, guitar pedals on a pedal board. This is great for that. But essentially, I don't run it on all my quads simply because I don't want to commit to sticking it to every single battery. But I run it on my long range rig here because when I am flying long range and I, if I hit something or crash, I want to make sure that battery stays there, does not move, and I to kind of like increase my, the probability of me able to fly back. So here it's on the quad right there. And then on the batteries. But yeah, if you run this method, you have to commit because you have to put it on top of all your quads and then on all the batteries that you're going to run with so those quads. But again, for racing, it's the, the best option. It's the one that's going to keep your battery there all the time. I still use neoprene. Like this is a racer, an FKR, Rockstar Quads FKR. And it has just a neoprene pad. I run it on a lot of my freestyle rigs. Like this Alien, Slammed Alien. The neoprene pad, like I just showed you, and also uh, most of what the uh, manufacturers send you with their quads, like for example, the Chameleon, is just an EVA pad. This one happens to be a little bit softer, not quite like neoprene, but it does the job because it's not all harsh like the first one I showed you. And also, for example, this uh, Hyperload I have over here also runs a soft EVA pad, which again, I don't think it's the best for a hardcore racer, but this carries lightweight battery, so it should be fine. And that is pretty much it. Take your pick. 
You can use whichever method you want, but again, if you want the most secure method, three and dual lock, then the gel, and then my preferred method of the neoprene.